guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a workout with you right now. That's right, you don't need any equipment, you do not need that much space. The fact that I've actually managed to do it in my bedroom. It is a great workout for really hitting the glutes hard and getting those hamstrings burning. I mean, I can literally feel mine now, I'm nice and sweaty. Um, but yeah, if that sounds like something that you'd like to get involved with, then simply get some space and come work out with me. I will see you on the mat, or more accurately, on my rug. Enjoy. So these are the moves that we're going to be doing in today's workout. We're going to be doing wide to narrow squat, 20 reps of these. Next up, we're going to do the Bulgarian split squat. We'll be doing 20 on each leg. Then after that, we're gonna go in with the single leg hip raises before moving on to the bent leg raises. These are great for your glutes. And then the raised leg hamstring curls. So five moves all together. I will talk you through all of them and we can do them together like friends. If that sounds good, then let's get to it. Ready? Let's go. Starting off with your feet just a bit wider than shoulder width, we're going to squat down in a wide squat, then bring the feet together and squat down for a narrow squat. Wide squat to narrow squat. While you're doing these squats, it's really important to keep your chest nice and lifted. Make sure that you're sitting back and all the weight is going through your heels. As I always say, make sure that you can wiggle your toes. Um, you want to make sure that you're squatting low. Try and go down as low as you can. This will vary depending on your ability and your flexibility, so take it as you can. But a nice deep squat is recommended. When we are doing the wide leg squats, we are focusing on the hamstrings and the glutes. With the narrow leg squats, we're focusing more on the quads. Uh, doing these moves as combination is a really good way of getting into the workout, really firing up the muscle groups, hitting them hard. You're doing really well guys, just a few more. Narrow squat, wide leg squat, one more narrow squat and done, well done. Now we're gonna go on to the next exercise with no rest in between. So raise one leg up onto a raised platform. I'm using my bed, you can use a chair, whatever. And we are gonna go in with the Bulgarian split squats. Now when you're doing these, it's really important that you don't lunge too far forward. The reason you don't wanna lunge too far forward is that if you're not flexible enough in your quads, then this could cause your back to overarch, which we do not want. We don't want any lower back strain. So make sure that your abs are nice and tight and that you are comfortable in your lower back. You can do this by simply moving closer towards the raised platform. As you squat down, you wanna make sure that your front knee doesn't go past your toes. So make sure that you are sitting back and really firing through the hamstrings and the glutes to raise back up. This is a really good exercise for focusing on contracting those muscles. Then we're going to switch on to the other leg and repeat the reps. So find your balance, adjust if you need to and dip down. You want to dip nice and low so that the front leg, the front, front thigh is in parallel with the ground when you dip down. So all the way down, really squeezing the glutes as you raise back up, carrying the weight through that front leg. You're doing really well, keep going. Sometimes I like to hold my hips to make sure that my pelvic tilt is nice and forward and my abs are contracted, that I'm not overarching my lower back. Because as I said, we do not want any back strain. So really hold those abs tight and squat down, feeling the stretch and the hip flexors of the raised leg. And well done. Next, we're going back to our wide leg squats and go. So alternating between the wide leg and the narrow leg squats, really getting that heart rate up. You should be feeling a little bit sweaty by this point, maybe the burns kicking in and that is a good thing. So dipping nice and low on the squat. When you do the wide leg squats, you can really give the glutes a nice squeeze at the top to really um, get that mind to muscle connection. You can also turn your feet out a little bit, so at a slight angle facing outwards to really activate the glutes a bit more. You're doing really well, keep going, just a few more. Really pushing through the burn to get those results. Keep going, just a few more. I love squats, they are such a good exercise for toning and shaping the legs, a compound exercise and really key. Well done, just a few more. Narrow squat, keeping that chest nice and lifted. Weight pressing through the heels. 
good glute squeeze at the top and done. And we're going straight into the next exercise. So come down on your hands and knees, raise one leg up into the air, straight in line with the body and lift, pulse for 20. What I want you to focus on on this move is keeping that leg nice and high. So we're not bringing it all the way back down towards our chest. We are keeping it nice and high and just getting that really isolated, concentrated glute squeeze at the top for 20 reps. Well done, it goes quick. And onto the next leg, really pulsing nice and high, getting that really good glute squeeze right at the top for 20 pulses. Doing really well, well done. Can you feel that burn? On this exercise, you feel the burn super quick. And relax. Next, we are going to bring the leg up again, straight out behind us, bent knee up in the air, and we are going to extend the leg, then clench it back towards the bum. So extending and bringing that foot back up towards the bum. So we are doing raised hamstring curls. So what I want you to focus on is keeping that movement isolated in the lower leg. So your uh, thigh should really be held in that position straight out from the upper body and it's just the lower leg that's moving, bringing the foot towards the bone by contracting the hamstring and the glutes. Well done and switch onto the other side, raising that bent leg up in the air, straightening the leg and bending it back. So really focusing the movement, keeping the thigh controlled and keeping all the movement in that lower leg. All the bend is coming at that knee joint. Really feeling that squeeze in the hamstrings and the glutes, holding the core still. Doing really well, just a few more reps. Well done and relax, well done. Next we are gonna get onto our back and we are going straight in with the hip raises. So again, legs onto a raised platform. I'm using my bed, you can use a chair if you need to. Lift the hips up into the air, then we're gonna raise one leg straight up into the air and we're gonna lower and raise. This is a great exercise for strengthening and toning the hamstrings. What I want you to aim to do is to really push those hips high into the air so you have a straight line from your knees to your hips to your shoulders when you are at the highest point of that movement. So we're isolating each leg, pushing up really, contracting the glutes at the top feeling the weight through the hamstrings and the glutes, pressing down through the heels on the raised surface and we're going to switch on to the other leg again, raise the hips up and go. Can you feel the burn yet? It's a good burn. Remember to keep your abs nice and contracted, keep that neutral tilt in the pelvis. We're not raising up using the arms, they're just there to stabilise you. Pushing the weight down through the heel of the leg that is doing the lifting. Feeling those hamstrings. Keep going, just a few more. Raising all the way up, doing really well, and done. Well done, that is it for this quick little workout. You can definitely repeat this up to three times and um, really get that burn going. What I like to do is I like to stretch between sets uh, so I'm just stretching my quads here and then I'll stretch my hamstrings and my glutes uh, to really make sure that I'm not getting too tight between the exercises. Uh, so yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for working out with me. Let me know how you found it. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.